that one. Just Corona with a goal. The Battle of Yorkshire. West Yorkshire takes on South, Terriers take on the Millers as two teams destined to stay up take each other on in a vital championship fixture. Today will be loud, scrappy and a challenging fixture for both with Rotherham with a packed out away end and Huddersfield on the back of a fantastic win at West Brom. Which team will get the three points today? Yes, today is slightly different as Huddersfield Town take on Rotherham United in the Yorkshire Derby and in the sixth round of the most exciting and most competitive league in the world, the EFL Championship. With Hull City playing last night on Friday, I thought with a free Saturday, me and Leo would venture off to Huddersfield again to watch them take on Rotherham United in a Yorkshire derby. It's going to be a fantastic game. Two packed out crowds. Rotherham to Huddersfield is only about half an hour, so it will be a fantastic and electric atmosphere. The only problem is, with it being a very close game between two sides who should probably be relegated but are beating the odds at the moment, there's a chance you won't get tickets and... I don't plan things ahead, so if you see this, we're there. If we don't, then I don't know why I'm doing this. Today, we take my seventh visit to the John Smith Stadium, home of Huddersfield Town, the Terriers. It will be a fantastic game. I'm looking forward to it. I'll see when we get down to the ground, and hopefully we can get tickets. Up them Tigers, up them Terriers, and up them Millers, I suppose. Blow me, we're off again, and that's me. A bit of an awful angle. Mother isn't coming to the game today. But what is your score predictions, Mother? 1-1. One, one. I would ask who's scoring, but do you actually know any of the players? Tom Eaves. Tom Eaves, I, oh, that's it. I don't know any either, to be honest. I know a couple of players. Man, <laughs> there. Oh dear. He's here. What a guy. So I'm after scram before game. Lovely sausage sandwich from Leeds Station. How are you, Leo? Too tired. We've arrived in Huddersfield. Oh, it's a long walk to the ground, it's like two miles, isn't it? Come on. Welcome to Huddersfield. Like I said in the last vlog, this is just a beautiful city. It really is, it's fantastic. Not too sure what they are meaning for. I'll get swimming later. Well, it, it looks like it'll be a, another one of those rainy days. We're nearly there, Leo. If we don't get tickets, we're a bit mucked up here, aren't we? I don't want to sit around for seven hours, real. Hey, can I get two tickets for today, please? We've done it! Oh, tickets done are, it. No, he's done it. I've But collectively, we've got tickets. <laughs> We're not near each other, but I'm sure no, we no, can... No, we are near each other, just a few seats between. I'm sure we can work something out with the people near us. We've arrived at the ground and there isn't two seats together, which means it's going to be a very good atmosphere, or at least very full at that point. I must admit we're three hours early, so we'll, we'll have a wander about, get some scrannage. Need and... some players? Yeah. Sounds like Up a good day. Tigers. Up them Tigers. Cheers. Cheers. Right, and off we go. Right, where is the ground? It's the ground. Let's have a look at this beauty then. Wow, beautiful. Well, 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 ladies and gentlemen, after a long three hours stood around the ground, we are finally in the stadium. What a beautiful stadium it is. The only problem is we are right at the back end row. It's a lovely view, but my only problem is other people sat behind me who are in the boxes wanting to be on a vlog, and that's why I'm a little bit nervous. But I'm, I'm sure there'll be a couple of empty seats dotted about. I know it is near enough a sellout, but you know, there'll be season ticket holders about. We may be able to get ourselves sat nearer to the front but anyways it's a lovely view and I'm, I'm very very excited for the game i think it'll be a good game with two yorkshire sides battling to try and escape relegation and for me no team here would be happy with a draw i think both teams are optimistic and definitely think and back themselves to get the three points i'll be completely truthful with you i don't know a lot about either team what i do know is huddersfield town still have an exceptionally good squad they've got neil warnock as a manager who's fantastic i know there's rumors of him leaving the club but today he is there and he is managing the team they've got the likes of sorba thomas jonathan hogg and josh caroma who they've all kept since that championship playoff final and they've got new players like Jack Rodoni bursting through the ranks so for me they're the team that should be pushing the hardest for three points because they need it they've had a bit of a rut in form I know they've just recaptured a win against West Brom but for me they want to be looking at the high end mid tables maybe even playoffs 
Now, Rotherham, I'll be honest, I know about five players. Victor Johansson, for me, the best goalkeeper in the league. He, he genuinely is. He's quality. He, he don't think the same. I don't know why. But why not? Why not? What, what's wrong with Victor Johansson? One thing's the best. Well, in my opinion, he single-handedly kept Rotherham up. And I know they had Chiedozi Ogbeni, but Victor Johansson is a quality player. They've got Fred Onyedima, online from Luton, quality centre midfielder. And then they've got Tom Eves, who I think the man there is just his quality. He's a brilliant player and just a fantastic guy. We're waiting before the game and the bus pulls up and he comes up to us and he shakes our hands. Lovely, lovely guy. He remembers us from Hull. We go before and after quite a lot, so we, uh, we have good chats with Tom. And hopefully he gets on the pitch today, and if so, hopefully he gets a goal. Usually at this point, I'd put the lineup graphics on screen, but I didn't know who was going to be playing. I don't know what they usually do. So we'll get into the score predictions. Leo, my friend, I am going to ask how are you, even oh. though I've spent the full last two days with you, but how are you doing? Very, very tired still. Didn't get to bed and didn't get in until about one in the morning. But yeah. Uh, are you excited to be here? Not really. Keep optimistic, be positive. What's your score predictions? Uh, I think it's going to be a boring game. I think it's going to be 1-0 in it either way. Well, as long as it's a 90th minute winner. I'll say the goal scores for both. So I think, I mean, it's, I've got to pick Fred. Fred on your team, yeah. Leaves. It's got to be either one of them. And for them. For them, we're supporting Huddersfield today, mate. Uh, I actually don't know. I don't care who scores, just someone's gonna score. Man of many words is Leo. I'll be honest, I'm gonna be the complete opposite to Leo. I'm gonna go for an optimistic 2 2 draw, very entertaining. For Rotherham, I'm gonna go. I am gonna go Fred on Yadima, I do think he'll bag, and then I think Jordan Huggill will score as well. Potentially Sam Klukas, I don't know. If he gets on the pitch, he'll make his debut in the championship for Rotherham. And then for Huddersfield Town, I think I am gonna go Jack Rodoni and Josh Caroma, and it'll be an enthralling. and I think one team will be 2-0 up, and then go 2-2. Two, two. I'll tell you what, look at Scram there. Love my neck. He's going to enjoy that. That's one hot dog. Jeez, what a player. Jeez. A very good turnout from Rotherham. I can feel a good game in the mix. Straight up. Balls in blue van. That's something. And here we have it! Huddersfield Town take on Rotherham United in the sixth round of the championship and a near enough sellout Yorkshire Derby. What an away end that is. The cow shed will be rocking. Uh, he's, he's looking forward to seeing Fred play. <laughs> See what he's about. And it will be number 18, Ollie Rathbone for Rotherham United to take to kick off in the first half. It's going to be a fantastic game. I can already tell by the atmosphere there. Something special. There you go. Right. Here we go. Usually you see Rotherham quite low in the rankings for championship fans, but today they've been top notch. I know it's a Yorkshire Derby and they should sell out, but they have been fantastic. Oh dear. There won't be much more of this vlog, but we at least we got a goal. Come on! What a goal that was. Josh Caroma with the goal. That helps me 2-2 prediction. We've got a bit of a going on. There's not a lot of leg room. The phone's on 
and uh, there's not going to be a lot more of this blow. At least we saw the goal. Very well worked. There is a man down. Arguably, they could have played it out. But at the end of the day, the goal's the goal. He's all right now. Some atmosphere here as well. I mean, the cow shed is rocking. There he is, big eaves. Warming up. <laughs> I'm gutted. I'm genuinely gutted. What a game of football that was. I and mean, my phone's had a nightmare. 35 minutes in, a goal, everything's going well. I go and plug my power pack in and it dies. What is that about? Nothing I could do. I go into the actual the concourse to speak to the staff and they go and say because of a reliability issue they can't charge my phone fair enough i go back in ask anyone around me no one's got a charger phone dies and then the leg room we were sat right at the top between the boxes and because the boxes were there my legs were just cramped and they were shaking like a bull it was all over the shop the people next to me kept looking at me it's just been one of those days it really has no vlog well i suppose half a vlog and a very bad knee, but you know, we have to take these ones on the chin. I've got at least one goal on camera, only missed the Sauber Thomas goal, but I tell you what, it was a fantastic day nonetheless. I would like to apologize for this. I know it's one of those things, but I'm gutted I wasn't being able to do the full vlog. It, it was a fantastic game and it would have made an exciting vlog, but you have to stay positive. The next game is the best one, possibly the greatest of the season, Leeds United at home. I think a lot of teams have rivalry with Leeds, but for Hull, this is our biggest rivals. We've been waiting for this for three years, and it's coming on Wednesday. I hope that you and your family are well. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your weekend, and thank you so much for watching. I'm really sorry about what's happened here, but it's one of those things. Up them Tigers, <laughs> up the Terriers, and I suppose up the Millers as well.